In this video, we're going to be explaining why uh, a person's hair stands up when they're touching the Van de Graaff generator and they're standing on a crate. All right, to answer this question, even though it's your hair that's standing up, and we're trying to answer that, our two objects of interest need to be the dome and the person, both of which are conductors. So you can see on the background of these objects, the material that makes up either the metal dome or your skin, your body, uh, there's a lot of empty spaces around this outer shell of the atom that electrons could fill, but there are no electrons there. That, make it, that makes it really easy for these electrons to move around. Okay? Uh, to start off with, our person is going to be neutral. There's an equal amount of electrons and protons. Uh, as for the Van de Graaff uh, generator, it's been on a while, and what the Van de Graaff generator does is it pulls a bunch of electrons from the dome and kind of stores them like towards like the bottom of it. As a result, what we have is this positively charged dome. And since it's a conductor, notice that I can move around my electrons really easily because it, I, it could travel through those empty valence shells. So my dome is going to be positive. My person is neutral in this case. Okay. So what ends up happening is the person's going to touch the dome. And since we have at least, as, as long as you have one conductor, you're going to be have you're going to have charging by conduction, charging by contact. In this case, we have two conductors. Right? And so when these two touch, electrons are going to want to move. And nature wants to be chill. Electrons want to move from an area of high concentration to a low concentration or to even out. So the electrons, there's more on your body, are going to move towards the Van de Graaff generator. Right? Right? And they're not going to all go. They're just going to go until you have about an equal amount of electrons on both sides. And I know on this model we have like four here, five here, but overall we have an equal amount. So now let's look at the charge of my object, uh, my objects. For my person, it looks like I have less electrons compared to protons, so this object is going to be positively charged everywhere. I know it's charged everywhere because it's a conductor and the charge is evenly distributed. Okay. For my dome, even though electrons moved over, if I look here, there are still more protons compared to electrons. So my dome is still positive in this case. And whenever we're charging by conduction, by contact, you're always going to have your objects end at the same charge. Right? And again, this charge is going to be evenly distributed because it's a conductor. All right, now let's answer the question, well, why does your hair stand up? All right, well, your whole body is going to be positively charged in this case. And I'm going to kind of take away this, and let's focus on your hair. Now, if you did one of the other scenarios and you watched one of my other videos, hair is actually going to be an insulator, but hair is also so thin that if my body's positively charged, uh, the electrons from my hair are going to be easily able to jump off, and they're also going to become positively charged as well. And so if we have, you can imagine all your hair being positively charged. Well, what happens when we have two positive objects or two like charges? They're going to want to repel. And so you can imagine maybe your hair is kind of like matted down like this, and it's going to want to get as far, this hair is going to want to get further, as far away from this hair as possible. So the best way to do that is for them to stand up and try to get as far away as possible. And so this explains why your positively charged body, your positively charged hair is going to make your hair stand up.